Hey guys, welcome to Parker's Reef. I'm currently lit up by the glow of a huge bank of ATI T5 lights because I'm here checking out a reef factory and the incredible SBS frags they got available for all you guys at home. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. Today's an interesting one. I got a uh, message from a friend of mine, Alan, to see if I could come out and take some pictures of his SBS colonies, his LPS pieces, and his frags. And I figured if I'm going to come out this far and take some pictures, I may as well bring the video camera along as well and get some footage for you guys at home because I think whilst pictures are great and you can see some of them on screen now, they turn out absolutely beautiful. Nothing tells a story like a bit of a video. So let's dive in and check out the system at Reef Factory. One last thing I should point out before we let the footage roll is that uh, I couldn't convince Alan to wear a microphone because he didn't want to be on camera. I was meant to be just there to take some still photos, but uh, there was way too, too good of a story to tell here. So uh, bear with me. I'll do my best to adjust the audio to make sure you can hear everything that Alan is saying. So you, you favor wild colonies because, I mean, we've got access to such incredible wild colonies here in Australia. They often don't get the time of day that they deserve. You bring them in, you acclimate them into high par conditions, yeah. get them to see their absolute peak potential, frag them, ensure the frags are nice and healthy, fully encrusted, completely pest free. Then they go up on the Reef Factory website. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And also they get used to a cram condition instead of like an ocean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you get to see what they, because I mean, that's the other thing with, um, with wild corals is that uh, they just about, I mean, probably 95% of the time they go through they go through a, a, a patch where, they, well, not just a patch, they'll just about always change color, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Yeah, um, so yeah, you get to see whether they uh, become more desirable or less desirable. Yeah, they, they get pretty stable here. Like the color doesn't change much. You know. Okay, yeah, yep, Once yep. the color reaches the point, just you know, stays. It stays there, beautiful. Tell us about some of your favorite pieces in the system. Uh, it's probably the yellow tenuous here. That piece is really, really nice. Yeah, beautiful yellow tenuous. Yeah. And also the shark some... here brings through a lot, still color up. It's still Chops beautiful. Here. Yeah, and absolutely stunning the colors. Blue smooth skin here. Yeah. The... To find these ones now. Blue smooth skin is one of my uh, signature corals from my old tank where um, that's the one that a lot of my videos are done. I've got a big print out of that on a canvas. Yeah, yeah I saw that, yeah. <laughs> These ones should be low light, but it's still sitting. Yeah, they, they'll still acclimate up into high light. That's when you get the real extreme blues, whites, greens on it, which um, that one's absolutely developing. And these fast for your cruise. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's, four ages. it's got a real peach colored skin with these uh, metallic orange polyps. It's yeah. just um, something else, just stunning. I'm something pretty on over here, the posse. Yeah, the, yeah that's quite fun green. It's a real two-tone pokey. It's, yeah. um, it's, it's legit, and I mean, the best thing about that is it's going to be hardy as hell and grow super quick, which you I can grow, tell. I grow a smaller frag, so <laughs> it's You can see by the uh, number of, I mean, you wouldn't even call them frags, the number of colonies kicking up out of that piece, it's um, super hardy and super fast growing, but absolutely striking in the contrast of its colors. Do you ever find that one to uh, spawn off into the tank? Uh, not in here. Nice, nice. That's always been my complaint with pokies is that they often... Um, if they do, I don't, I don't mind. Like, you can <laughs> be on the bottom of the tank, you know, just, you know, scrap it off. In a system like this, it's not too bad. You can yeah. just peel them off. But yeah. Um, yeah, if they spawn off over and upset some of your favorite corals, not too bad, but... Um, some, a lot of pieces in here got potential. It's like this absolutely. one's table piece. You've got the nice pink tips on the top. Yeah. It's gonna develop like really nice color. Beautiful I don't know color. about this one. It's pinkish color. Yeah, that's a real sort of boysenberry color to it. It's got a nice pale blue, some bright pink highlights, and then those uh, this bone white polyps, which give it such epic contrast. Really nice. That one looks really good on the LED light. Yeah, you yep. Can't, you can't tell under the T5, but LED definitely looks good. LED makes it pop. What sort of colors do the LEDs bring out on it? Uh, it's more like a very pink color. Okay. Yeah. We totally should have had you wearing a mic. <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> Not good at this. <laughs> You're doing great. Fireworks here. Yeah, it's a beautiful fireworks. Yeah, some Pikachu here, like, you know, and some wild stuff just came in yesterday, so. Very nice. Just color up, you know. Color up. And this system's running off a uh, sea torch sump over here. 
lot off Uni Hill. Very nice. Yeah, nice. Joey oh, out of Uni Hill. Beautiful PVC, high quality sump. Goes through mechanical filtration up the end here, which let's see if we can see. We've got a six filter sock section there. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And then uh, this is a Reef Octopus skin. Oh, yeah, Reef Octopus 300 Plus internal. Extension on the neck. Yeah, it's got the extension on there, which allows uh, just you to dial it in with extra height so that you can get even more protein out of that it. It does the job really well. Adds to it really nicely. And then you've got the uh, Pacific Sun uh, CO2 scrubber, and you can see it just chewing through the media there. Um, that media went in what, five, days ago? five days ago, and uh, you can see it's already starting to uh, color change. And that's because we are in a garage here, so uh, airflow is not. Um, <laughs> not the best, so uh, we've got to run the CO2 scrubber media there just to keep that, uh, keep the incoming air as CO2 free to make sure that the pH stays high. And um, Alan was telling me that uh, the, whilst it's burning through media really, really quickly, it makes a huge difference. And some of these uh, tips cut on things like this spath here have grown back in a few days. And he, he puts that primarily down to the really nice pH, which just helps these corals heal over and grow back really quickly. Do you know what sort of pH level the system is at? Uh, probably around 8.4. Yeah, 8.4. Yeah. It so. used to be 7.0 because the air... Right, right. yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah. Huge so difference. From 7.9 to 8.4 and um, might be burning through the media, but wow, it's... Uh, yeah, the media is going to cost me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of those expenses, but I mean, it's worth it if you can get your corals to yeah. heal back over and grow yeah, back that quickly. Um, but yeah. Tell us about these scollies at the end here. You've got some cracking yeah, pieces I like there. A challenging coral, like scollies, very hard to keep, like keeping a good shape. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Eventually, when my source here, I want to cut the frags. Yeah, Give okay. it a try, you know. Do some aquaculture on these corals. Not much people do. Beautiful. And this, this crazy colored orange piece with a bit of a uh, purple rim and just a splash of red through the mouth. Yeah. That's, that's one of your newest Ooh. additions? Yeah, that's the best one I've seen. I, I've never seen a scully of that color before. That's absolutely cracking. That costs a fortune. <laughs> That's absolute uh, kidney sort of uh, pricing, but uh, man, it's worth it. That's a stunning piece. Yeah. It looks first. The color probably will change over over time. We'll get more gold. Yeah, yep. Could gold up a bit more. Yeah. All then, the scully changes color. The only problem with that scully is it makes the rest of your incredible scullies maybe not shine as brightly because it just takes the cake. Yeah, I know. That's why it's on, a, it's on individual rocks, so yep. I can just take it out. Yeah, it's on other rocks. I'm only stirring. I mean, the, the collection of these absolutely showpiece scullies makes this uh, rock what it is. But um, wow, what a, what a collection. They're very nice corals. I like it. You've got a pretty good assortment there in that um, there's not really two that are that alike. They've all got their own little uh, unique yeah, differences. To, yeah, I was trying to get different ones, you know, different patterns. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I don't think uh, you're going to double up on that orange one anytime soon. That, no. um, <laughs> that seems pretty unique. I'll have one kidney, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Only one you can spare yeah, anyway. <laughs> Sensational. But uh, people can keep an eye on the uh, Facebook page. So, yeah, I'll, I'll start updating more, you know. Yep. It's a pretty new page, it's only you know, pretty new. So. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. But I mean, if anyone's seen any coral in here in particular that they're interested in, they can always shoot you a message. Yeah, shoot me a private message. Yep. Yeah, I'll send you some photos, you know. Yep, yep. It's basically all taken on Y photos, so. Uh, yeah. Not in the LED, so it's basically what you see is what you get. Yeah, for sure. And speaking of the, uh, the, the lights here, we've got a huge, uh, what have we got, an eight by 80, is it? Uh, I think 10, 10 by 80. 10 by 80, 10 by 80 yeah. Yeah, well, let's have a look. We've got 1, 2, 3, no, 4, 10, 5, yeah. 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 10. 10 by 80, yeah. Lazy 800 watts of T5 over the tank, plus put, some. Put uh, tape on, so I know which two by change. Yeah, <laughs> it does the trick. You go, <laughs> they're the most recent changed ones, so you know which ones. You don't want to replace the new bulbs and throw out the old, uh, the, keep the old ones. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, T5, you can see the. Uh, spread and uh, coloration it gives, but... Uh, More natural, look, like, how you mm, in the ocean. Yeah. Definitely. I would run that on highlight, but let's get it too high. In yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Crazy setup. And uh, when your frags are ready, you post Australia-wide? Uh, Australia-wide, yes, with Star Trek. With Star Trek, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, sensational. So, yeah, anywhere in Australia, you can get your hands on these corals, um, and you know that they're acclimated to aquarium life. 
They have been grown under high pass, so don't be afraid to stick them up high in the tank. They, but, they'll um, hold the color, they will last. So not like you're buying a wild colony. So. Yes. These, are, these are absolutely acclimated to aquarium life. They're healthy, they're pest free, they're colored up, they're uh, encrusted. You can see what the mother looks like. You can see what the variety of frags look like. Get these frags in your tank, guys. Because of the high par, that when uh, you first introduce colonies into the tank, it takes them a good few weeks to up to a couple months to it acclimate does, yeah. Yeah, into they the light. It takes a while the time, but color sparks straight away. Yep, yep. And these are some of the pieces that are just acclimating in now. Even things like the Robuster, which is known for absolutely loving huge light, has no... Uh, no issues in getting access to light here. And then once they acclimate in, they'll, they'll richen up in color. And uh, then they'll start looking like these incredible pieces down here where they're um, just a grow out phase. And um, you can see uh, the tips get cut. See a couple of tips there. And then this piece here, you can actually see some of the tips where it's been cut and it's already growing back. And it's, it's just incredible to see. Yeah, I usually just cut all the tips when it comes in. So, you know, it's fast speed up the growth as well. Yeah, there's, I mean, I've, I've heard a few people say that, that uh, cutting the tips actually accelerates growth. Yeah. And you get different color on the tips. The new growth looks a bit different. Yeah, right, so, interesting. Yeah. Just give it a try, you know, experimenting with all different kinds of life. And uh, how, how tall is this tank? About 30, 35, I think. Yeah, right, right, and you can it's see. Shallow. It should be around, I should build a tank around 40 to 45. It's a bit too shallow. Too shallow. You can see like the SBS there, this is without the flow on, is just about breaching the surface. So once the flow is on, it actually starts to... Uh, yeah, it gets about 900, 900, 900. On the water. Yeah, wow. 900 par at the surface, which... The light which... should be that high. Yes. More, so. Yeah, so at the moment your lights are what, about 18 inches above the tank? About a foot and a half? Yeah. 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 Maybe. Just to cover the full tank, you know, on the side. Yeah, it's yeah. It's got good spread. So it gives you 800 to 900 par at the surface and the majority of these SPS pieces are at the surface. And over here you got a uh, little uh, Hellfire Nem. Yep. Just because you find them interesting. They're pretty fun. <laughs> Not so fun to touch. Uh, we can give it a try. <laughs> no, I'll pass today. <laughs> what sort of fish we got in there? What is this big stripy guy? Uh, yellow eye something like yellow eye. I bought from Ben. Yeah, right. Yeah. He wanted a yellow eye cold tank, but they're saying that one. <laughs> yeah, not quite a yellow eye cold tank. Yeah. So I want to so, Yeah, I'll get them. You know, good for like viral old shit. Yeah. All right, just to wrap things up on this video, and I couldn't help but uh, crank up the blues and pop a filter on the camera because I know there's some of you blue freaks out there that just love to see sticks in the uh, Smurf environment. And uh, as you can see here, none of these disappoint. The uh, colors absolutely do get saturated by a few times once uh, you get uh, those blue LEDs on and you filter it up. And um, what a uh, rainbow of colors here from the frags to the colonies, even like the LPS, that Samacora at the back there. Check out the uh, pink spath, that peach spath, the uh, boysenberry one we talked about earlier. Even that big, thick uh, green stag or robusta. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful pieces. The strawberry shortcake never disappoints. And uh, we'll pan across to have a quick look at some of the frags. We do have the flow turned off, but uh, there's some big fish in this tank. Just making sure there's plenty of uh, ripples in the water just to interrupt the footage. But uh, check out some of the uh, new pieces here that are uh, just acclimating into the light. They're going to richen up in color even more. Check out this gigantic gonoploria there. It's not a glitter goni, but uh, is about as close to a glitter as you get. And it's huge. And uh, couldn't help but give one last pan past this uh, incredible Scully Island here. Check out that uh, kidney valued piece up the back there. That's uh, just something else. And uh, we'll pan around to get over the other side so you can have a look from this side. You see a good shot of the uh, strawberry shortcake there. Some of those incredible spaths. This beautiful piece here, this smooth skin green there. Nice uh, plating pink there. Let's have a look here. This uh, looks like a nice sort of tricolor going on there. Got a couple of tenuous there, including that beautiful yellow tenuous. Just trying to avoid some of the reflection from the tubes, but uh, wow, look at that smooth skin, that uh, coral that used to be my signature coral. Well, same type anyway. You can see that beautiful uh, yellow tipped green acro there. 
and here's all the frags here that are just uh, settling in and doing their thing. You can see a number of these ones are actually ready to go now, fully encrusted. And there's a bunch of new tiles there because uh, Alan tells me he's going to be cutting another 80 frags today just to get that process cooking. So give them another uh, few weeks and they'll be nicely uh, acclimated into aquarium life and ready to post out to you. But uh, I guess I'll begin to wrap the video up there. If uh, you get the opportunity, jump onto the Reef Factory Facebook page. Don't be afraid to uh, shoot Alan a message. Say you saw the video on Parker's Reef and that uh, you'd like to get your name down for one of these corals because uh, I'm sure uh, he'd do like nothing more than to get them into your hands. Of course, I couldn't come all this way without picking up a nice little hand-picked selection of frags for the new Dream Reef Tank. Check them out. We've got a yellow tenuous there, beautiful strawberry shortcake, blue digi, some angry John Spath, and this crazy green with bright yellow tips piece there. Just an epic frag pack. All right, guys, we'll wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, for either myself or for Reef Factory, pop it in the comments section down below. If you don't know, I personally respond to each and every question or a feedback or comment down there. So if you are wanting to get in touch, that is the best way to do it. And last but not least, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. Till next time guys, stay safe, keep reefing, bye.